for now, we're gonna just change this out. Should be pretty simple. Um, they gave us all the adapters and everything, so just shut your tank off here. Um, unhook both of these and put the new one in place. It looks like it's the half inch. Uh, this one's got a three quarter inch hole coming out, so he gave me both of these. Said it'd probably be one or the other. So, looks like it's the half. And this one he said was left handed threads. So this one will be righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. <laughs> this is this is the kind of stuff I really like to do because I learned a lot. Um, you know, you can't just hook up the propane line and hope it works. Uh, there's a lot of kind of math and stuff involved in it. Really, um, you want to, you know, you want to figure out what this pressure is, how much volume you need to go for your length. Now a lot of the generators, the Generacs, the Kohlers, those kinds, um, they actually have a, a chart in the back of their um, their spec sheet that will tell you all of that stuff. But since this is a portable generator, it didn't really come with any of that. So um, that's what we got to do now. I'm not sure if that's what this is for but they gave us two screws. I only have one spot, so I'm just gonna put this on here to kinda of anchor it where it was uh, before, because it was right there beforehand, so I'm just gonna put it back right here. The other one was just hanging in the air, so I don't know if it's needed or not, but um, I'm gonna put it on there. tight. tidy. Okay. And then maybe I should have put the other one on first. I don't know. Well, I guess if I break it, I can take the one off the other one. Just trying to see how it was bent.
Okay, I apologize for the uh, distance here, but my camera keeps getting too hot because um, the sun's shining right now um, directly on it over there. All I've got left to do is the hook up the half inch line there going down to the uh, generator. So I'm getting an exit camera battery temperature too high. So all I'm going to do now is got some soapy water and I'm going to turn the got the uh, valve shut on shut off down there that goes to the propane. And I'm just going to turn the tank on and make sure I don't smell anything or see anything. I'm good. Well, another project done. My mom's happy. Everything's running. Learned a lot about propane and don't be scared to try something new. Uh, just do your research, learn a little bit, and really this was very simple to change out the regulator. So stay at it, keep learning. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.